quote, vindicated the Coca-Cola company and cleared his name of any wrongdoing. We, of course, asked. That's great to hear. Can we see it, please? No, no, no. Trust us. Mm -hmm. We're vindicated. They cleared our name. Mm -hmm. They would not reveal it to the public. Mm -hmm. We were not allowed to see it. So, of course, after that public relations blunder, the Coca-Cola company decided that perhaps, in fact, they needed to do an assessment that was revealed to the public. Right. A couple of years later, they contracted a company called the Corporate, the Cow Safety Compliance Corporation. Okay. Cow Safety Compliance Corporation agreed to do an assessment, an investigation on behalf of the Coca Cola Company. And their assessment with a budget of several million dollars that supposedly provided for armed guards and helicopters to be placed into the very violent jungles of Colombia, mm -hmm. which is how they turned into us. Explained that in fact the Coca Cola Company had done everything that it could to ensure that the workers in Colombia were being protected and respected. Mm -hmm. We obviously already knew who Cal Safety Corporation was. Right. We were very aware that in fact the report that explained and once again cleared Coke's name, mm -hmm. the preface, the prologue was written by Neville Lisdell, the CEO mm -hmm. of the Coca Cola Company. Mm -hmm. that there wasn't much transparency or independence of, as a third-party group of Cal Safety with the company. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, Cal Safety Compliance Corporation had been a target of a previous scandal where mm -hmm. they were the corporation, the monitoring group, that was to have been surveying a sweatshop, discovered a sweatshop, mm -hmm. a very famous case of in Monte, California in the San Gabriel Valley of California, where there had been countless numbers of Thai immigrant workers chained to their machines. They were forced slaves. This had been a sweatshop plant. The Cal Safety Compliance Corporation had just weeks prior given a clean bill of health, saying that in fact they were vindicated a clean name that this corporation was in no way involved with exploitation. Convenient that such a whitewash report with a sellout corporation mm -hmm. such as Cal Safety would also clear Coke's name right. in such a report. And lastly, if that wasn't good enough for you, Coke agreed then to engage the International Labor Organization mm -hmm. to do their own. And the International Labor Organization is what? Yeah, the ter the Conjugate is the ILO, they're based in Geneva, Switzerland. Okay. They are the organization that globally purports to represent issues of labor. With a tripartite organization that includes government, includes labor, and includes business. Okay. Uh, which tends to mostly err on the issue of, on the interest of business, since typically the government and business parties align and labor is often left as the, the minority partner. Nonetheless, we went ahead with the proposed idea that the Coca-Cola company would agree with the ILO to do an investigation. Many students globally had said, okay, if you don't want to cut the coal contract, then let's prove it to you that what we're alleging is in fact true. Do an independent third party investigation. White in case certainly wasn't enough, which is quite a joke. Right. Child safety compliance wasn't either. So they thought, all right, we'll try to get the ILO, Coke said. Right. That was two and a half years ago now. Mm -hmm. And in fact, in a recent development last June 2007, after a very long tango with the ILO and Coke, including the man who was brought in as the head of global labor relations mm -hmm. named Ed Potter, who used to be a business representative to the ILO, they finally agreed that, you know what, schools like University of Michigan, we were just kidding. That investigation that we promised you is not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we're going to remove Coke, we're going to remove Colombia, excuse me, from this investigation and include Australia instead. Huh. Because Australia has more pressing issues of labor rights violations than Colombia. And to this day, this promised investigation by the ILO on behalf of Coke remains to be seen. So Coca-Cola has never funded or never been a part of a sufficient investigation as far as human rights organizations internationally are concerned. Correct. And in fact, it's gone one step further and prohibited and 
may difficult any type of true 